How's it going guys? It's your boy Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with a Q&A number three. Um, like I said, I was going to be doing these every two weeks. Um, I'm sure your questions will load up. I'm sure new people will come onto the page. So it's like, let's just do one every two weeks. Um, keep you guys informed. Um, by the way, Tuesday, today's Sunday. Tuesday is going to be the first Tackle Tuesday video. I know you guys are excited about that. Um, and in that video, I'm taking suggestions for the next week's Tackle Tuesday. So make sure you um, stay tuned for that. It's coming out Tuesday, probably um, 7 o'clock. I have it scheduled and everything. 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get started with the Q&A, guys. What is your favorite place to fish and why? Um, my favorite place by lake. Um, I guess that's what you're asking. If you're talking about a lake, I would say Lake Lanier. Um, I really like spot fishing. <clears throat> I, I am a big fan of largemouth fishing, like up shallow and stuff. But my home lake's Lake Lanier, so I'm used to fishing out deep for spots over brush and stuff like that. So Lake Lanier, if you're talking about a lake, that's what it would be. What encourage you, encourages you to keep fishing, and how did you get all the accessories like you have on the boat? Like, like you have like accessories you have like boat etc also shout out to JWH fishing um what encouraged me to keep fishing you guys encouraged me to keep fishing um, you guys encouraged me to make more videos um, and just the excitement of it guys you never know what's gonna happen you can go out on the lake and not catch a fish you can go out on the lake another day and catch a 10 pound or you just don't know what's gonna happen every cast is just a mystery and it's um really neat yeah, you guys encourage me a lot, um, not only to make these videos, but just to fish in general, fish tournaments. Um, and how did you get all the accessories on the boat? Um, guys, I have really great parents and really great sponsors. A um, bunch of support along the way, um, especially the sponsors and my parents. Um, and a lot of support from you guys and just fishing tournaments, getting your name out there. And if you guys don't know, I am sponsored by Ranger Boats. Have you ever caught a striper? And if so, how big? Um, yeah, I have caught stripers. Um, I've only been striper fishing probably three times, like dedicated striper fishing. We're going out, we're going to catch some striper, um, just with a few buddies. <clears throat> but my biggest one I would say is 30 pounds. Um, decent striper on linear. What editing software do you use for your videos and how did you learn how to use it? Um, Sony Movie Studio is what I use. Um, it's um, Sony, it's kind of like Sony Vegas, if you guys have heard of that. It's um, pretty complicated to be honest, but once you get it, you get it. It's really simple. Um, you just got to fool around with it. And how did I learn to use it? Pretty much just messing around with it, man. I really didn't have anyone teach me. Everyone I know uses um, the Apple programs and everything, so I was clueless to it when I first got it, so I just fooled around with it. Are you thinking to be a fisherman as a career? To be honest, man, yes, 100%. I um, finally made a decision of that. As you guys know, I have a Jeep right now, and I would say in about a year, I'm going to be getting a truck, I'm going to be getting a Tundra, or I'm going to get my dad's Tundra, because he'll probably um, upgrade to a new truck, so he'll hand that down to me. Um, but yeah, guys, if I had the opportunity to do this, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to get full force at it, like I said in my other vlog. Um, if I had the opportunity, definitely I'm going to do it. Um, not many people have the opportunity to, so if I have the opportunity, I'm just going to go for it. Have you ever fished Lake Altoona? If so, what is your biggest fish there and what did you use? Sorry, but I've never fished it. Um, I actually want to fish it. If that's your home lake, um, hit me up with a message, man. I'm going to go fishing sometime. Have you ever fished Lake Gaston? And if so, what did you use? No, I've never fished that lake. How does it feel to be a gangster? Man, I'm a G. I'm a G. You, you know it. Come on. Come on, homie. You guys already know what it is. You guys are funny, man. Keeps me motivated. <laughs> what do you normally use? You kind of messed up on the comment. What do you normally use? Got bass. I guess that's supposed to be four. Four bass. Um, It all, it all varies, man. It all depends if you're throwing 
um, a reaction bite bait, like a fast moving bait if you're throwing a finesse bait. If I'm throwing a finesse bait, I'm most likely throwing a jig, a worm, or a wobble head. If I'm throwing a moving bait, it's most likely a chatter bait, crank bait, um, stuff, jerk bait, top water. My favorite bait, um, as most of you guys know, favorite bait, chatter bait all the way. Um, I really like throwing a jig and also a wobble head as well. But if it was for moving bait, definitely, definitely a chatter bait. Um, for a slow moving bait, finesse bait, um, like a jig or a wobble head. I'm really big fan of that. Also a shaky head at points if it's really tough. How long do you use a bait slash technique before you determine it's not working? Um, it's really hard to say because I can tell you one thing. Some tournaments I'm so dedicated to a bait where I'll just get zoned in and I won't even think about switching up. Um, because I'm so dedicated. I caught 25 pounds of practice and I go tournament day, they're just not buying it. You're just going to have to adjust. Um, say practice day, you catch 25 pounds on a jerk bait. When you go back tournament day, you're throwing that jerk bait, you're throwing it, you're throwing it, you're throwing it, you're just not getting them. You're looking down at your graph, you're seeing them on the bottom. You're going to have to adjust. Um, they're not. They're clearly not biting that moving bait. They're on the bottom, so let's throw a jig. Or say they're a little bit off the bottom. They're a foot off the bottom. Let's throw a Carolina rig. I mean, you just um, gotta adjust like that. How do you start a successful YouTube slash social media? Um, you just gotta keep on posting good t content, man. Honestly, I'm nowhere where I want to be right now. I want to be at 150k. Um, I set a goal for this year for Instagram and it's 100k. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit it, but that's my goal. But j just post good content, be productive, be active on that account. You're, you're going to have to keep on posting, keep your viewers informed. Um, you, you have to keep at it. You can't just stop for two weeks. You, it's got to be consistency. Consistency is key. What is the biggest bass you ever caught? Around 10 pounds. Some kid just commented sponsor. I don't know what that means. Winner of the GoPro. Come on, man. You know, um, once I hit 6,500 subscribers, I'll be giving it away. How to locate fish when fishing the shore at local ponds? Um, that's kind of difficult to be honest. But say you're fishing off the bank and you're casting all out. Cast over here. When you get your bait in, say you're throwing a charter bait, you got some hydrilla on. Cast over here. You're filling your bait, hit some like rock and stuff. Um, you get a bite, oh, hook set, get the fish in. I would go around and just try to find. I mean, just like a regular lake, to be honest. It's kind of it's kind of tough in ponds because most of the time it's just that mushy green stuff on the bottom. It's just really nasty. How do you get your name out there to sponsors? Um, pretty much by tournaments, guys, and promotion through your page. What kind of boat do you have? Um, we have a Ranger Z520C. Favorite bait for spawning bass? Honestly, I like a little crawl. Um, even like a even like a wobble head. There's a bee over here. Even like a wobble head. Um, just get like a white crawl in there. I like something that I can see. Um, to be honest, and you're just trying to irritate that fish for the most part to bite. What bait would you recommend for using when pond fishing for bass? Um, honestly, I like a wacky rig. Um, weightless wacky rig just straight up um, it's a really good rig and for the reason why is like I said most of those ponds have a lot of that hydrilla and a lot of that nasty green stuff on the bottom and you can't throw a shaky head is you when you throw it it's just sitting down in that gook and everything and they're not even seeing the bait so wacky rigs really good um, it's been really productive for me so definitely try that out if you're a pond fisherman and you haven't tried it definitely try it how many subscribers do I have um 5,400 right now and it's growing daily. How long does it take to prepare yourself for a tournament? Um, as in pre-fishing wise, it may be a week to even two weeks to even three weeks. Like we pre-fished for um, the bas high school Bassmaster Classic. We pre-fished months before that um, and we just had tons of tournaments in the middle of that so we had to kind of pre-fish. Um, but as in getting your poles ready and everything, um, just a couple days to be honest what bait casting combo do you recommend for a new bass fisherman um, for rod I like a St. Croix Mojo Bass and I also like some of Abu Garcia's reels 
Um, I like the Revo series reels, but if you want to get something a little bit cheaper, they have um, the Abu Garcia Black Max, which is pretty decent for um, a new bass fisherman. Your opinion on a chatter bait? Like I said, man, it's my favorite bait. I love it. Um, I'm stay tuned Tuesday. That's a, that's a hint right there. What is your favorite structure to throw a wobblehead? I'm definitely rock. Rock 100%. Um, a lot of those fish love the stage on rock. It's definitely good on wood as well. Uh, it depends what type of bass you're fishing for. If you're fishing for a spot, I like rock. Fishing for a bass, wood. What is your best advice for someone getting into fishing tournaments? Um, just, just start off with a couple club tournaments, man. Um, and just fish a couple of those. Say, say you're in high school, fish a couple regular club tournaments, get used to the flow, get used to um, going to the tournaments, launching and everything, um, get used to weighing in, and then if you're wanting to go into high school fishing or college fishing or whatever you're doing, um, jump into that once you're comfortable. But make sure you jump into it, man. A lot of people want to hold back. Don't hold back. Just get into fishing, man. What month is the best time to fish for bass, especially largemouth? Honestly, I couldn't give you a specific month. Um, just the seasons. There's a lot of good months. Um, just like summer. Summer's really good. Spring's really good. Fall's really good. Um, down in the winter. I mean, it's just it's kind of hard to figure it down. I have another post where I have some more comments on. Give me one second. How often do you fish? Um, I would say like one day a week on the weekends or the weekends. Um, and if I can more, I will. And every once in a while, I get not bored with it, but I'll overdo myself. I'll just be really, really sluggish, really tired. So every once in a while, I'll take a week off. Like this week, I haven't fished. Um, and there's there's to a point where, I believe it was in the fall last year, where I didn't fish for two to three months. It was crazy. Um, something just killed me, man. It was bad. So don't overdo yourself if you think you're going to do that, because that's not a good thing. Do people from your high school? I was reading it. Do people from your high school know you fish competitively and have a YouTube? Um, for the most part, no. Some people do, some people don't. Um, a lot of my close friends do. And yeah, <laughs> at school I'm Noah. Outside of school, I'm kicking their bass TV. I don't know, that's weird. What motivated you to pursue bass fishing, and how do you make your baits? Um. What well, motivated me is pretty much the excitement of it, guys. And you guys motivate me the most. Um, I really mean that. You guys motivate me the most to fish and everything. And um, I have somebody to make my baits just more high quality. How much money have you made off your YouTube so far? Um, honestly, I haven't monetized. I, I didn't have my videos monetized till about a month or two ago. So I can't really say it's not much. Do you plan on going to college? Yes, I do plan on going to college, and most likely to Alabama College. I'm um, just for the fact that there's a lot of lakes um, nearby, um, but I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not definite on that yet. We're gonna go visit some colleges this summer. Do you think the ducket goose is a good rod? And what well, lose do you prefer? I don't. I don't fish any ducats or lose. Let's just say I use the fish ducats and I switched them all over to St. Croix. I really love my St. Croix and I love my Abbey reels. How do people at your school respond to you having a YouTube? Like I said, not too many people um, know I have a YouTube, but the ones I do actually think it's pretty cool um, for the most part. I see it kind of not, not not the coolest thing, but um, most people think it's pretty cool, especially on um, my action videos. FLW or Bass? Um, I like Bass for Bass over FLW. What is your favorite rod and reel combo for fishing ponds? Um, like I said, St. Croix, Legend Extreme, and Abu MGX. Um, that's my overall favorite combo. Any really synchroids and avenue is really good combo. Favorite lure of all time. Um, it has to be the chatterbait, man. Chatterbait hands down. I love the chatterbait. How to read sonar, down scan, side scan. Um, if you guys want a video on that, leave a comment below. Um, I could definitely do a video on that. Sonar. Uh, if you see a fish, it's going to be kind of like an upside down Nike symbol. It's going to be like a little hump. Um, and when you see that and you look at the down scan, the down scan is going to have a little dot. On the little dot, it's going to represent the fish. 
um, side scan you can kind of see from the sides you can see the rocks and everything it's really neat um, I kind of go too much into detail with that it's hard to go into detail just sitting here what is your favorite type of soft plastic and why well, my favorite type is like a finesse worm um, that's my favorite do I kayak fish no do I salt order fish um, just want to go out of town for the most part where did you make your logo intro to your YouTube videos um, my logo I did not make I got somebody to make me that a while ago and I make everything for my YouTube biggest bass um, 10 pounds what software do I use Sony Movie Studio um, is the software that I use what is my boat run wide open um, around 75 we took the stuff out it would run um, much faster how did you get into fishing what age um, I would say around 10 to 13 I was fishing just like catfish then from 13 to 17 where I'm at now um, bass fishing I'll possibly do a video on Lake Oconee. Um, if I'm ever down there, man, I would definitely do that. Um, it's just the schedule's so compact right now. How do I fish my jigs? Depending on the lake and how the day is, um, I'll drag my jig or I'll hop my jig. What is your favorite all-purpose rod and reel combo? Like I said, I'm St. Croix's Legend Extreme and Abu Garcia MGX, my favorite. What is the furthest up north you have fished? Um, honestly, not too far. I invite you to take a trip to Michigan. Man, if I can, I will definitely be up for that, man. I know you stay tuned on my stuff. I'm definitely up for that. We can make a video and everything. Do you have a fishing club? And if so, how many people do you have? Um, I do have a fishing club at my school. Not too many people. I mean, there's 4,000 people at my school. Um, but there's not too many people that fish, to be honest. Not too many. Um, we only have two high school teams for my school right now. What are your favorite ways to cover water quickly? I'm pretty much just get a moving bait, like for an example, a rattle trap, and I'm just keep on covering water, just put the trolling motor down and go. How much money do you think you have put towards your equipment for fishing to get where you are? If it's personal, don't bother answering. <laughs> um, honestly, I couldn't really put a number on it. I can say it's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money. Um, bass fishing is an expensive sport. You know how it is. They come out with a new reel, you want it. It's just, <laughs> it's really crazy. And I'm um, also have some really great sponsors that have treated me really well um, throughout my whole journey. Have you fished Lake Altoona? I already answered that one. Where do I work? Um, I actually own some vending machines. So I do vending machines, like I restock vending machines. I also work at a retail shop um, selling equipment and stuff. And I did have an internship um, for Fish Flicks Adventure Advertising. Um, but I'm not doing that right now. I may start back this summer. I'm going to go talk to them about that. And also kicking their bass is a lot of work. Um, it's starting to get to the point where it's a lot of work and with kicking their bass and everything. So yeah, guys, that's all the questions. And I hope you guys are enjoying these question and answers. Like I said, I'm going to be doing these every two weeks um, just to keep you guys informed and everything. Um, keep you guys updated. The new crowd, if you guys want to answer or ask some questions, I'll answer them for you. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Tuesday, Tackle Tuesdays, first video. It was supposed to start last week, but um, I just got caught up in a lot of stuff. I was sick and everything. It just didn't turn out. Um, so this Tuesday, first Tackle Tuesday video, um, remember to enter my GoPro giveaway, my raw giveaway, my bait giveaway. My raw giveaway is actually over, but I just haven't had time to um, draw the winners for that. And I'm sorry about that, guys. So I will let you guys keep on entering right now um, throughout till I do it. It'll be sometime this week, I'm sure. So thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.